Hey there, and congratulations. If you are watching this right now, you are probably the first person to see it. I hope you had your notifications on, subscriptions, and all that good stuff. If you are the first person, as I promised, here is where it is hidden. I hid last week on Friday the code to a $10 Robux card. And that Robux card, if you look, this video, right, in the thumbnail, there's the code. Okay, okay, I'm not I'm not gonna be that mean. Here's the actual code and I'll zoom in on it just so you can see. Nice and hidden right there for you. If you are the first person, congratulations. That's the code right there. And you can go type that in and I hope you can go and grab it. Um, hopefully this is not low res and you can you can actually see it. Uh, it is R-I-Q-H-9-R-R-A-X-Z-Y-1-M-8-Y-J-2-Y. So, with that, welcome to Lumber Tycoon 2. Oh, I don't have my, <laughs> I don't have my camera on. Dang it. What is going on there? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Wrong scene. So if you don't know, I love hiding things. Now, real quick disclaimer, I'm not hiding anything this week, but I am gonna come up with a system where I can type in a code, right? You go to my Roblox game and it will reveal the code for you. That way you can create a list of um, items that you've won from other YouTubers. Uh, if you are a YouTuber yourself, you're going to be able to go into this game and verify yourself by taking a, a code, put it on your YouTube channel, and my game will verify you. And then once you're verified, you can set up like 10, 15, 20, 100 codes, depending on how many subs you've got, how many followers on Twitch, just depending on like the different scenarios that we could possibly do. It's all up here right now. And like most of my ADHD... Um, ideas I'm not sure if it's ever going to come to light I might not even program it who knows it's just it's just a really awesome idea that I had for verifying youtubers inside the the Roblox system without using star codes this way anybody can go in and it will tag them hey you are a youtuber this is your sub count and you know it's a it's a good idea it's a it's a thoughtful idea and I have been able to prove this. There is a proof of concept that I've written where it actually verifies um, if somebody has a YouTube channel or a Twitch channel. And I think it's I think it's a brilliant idea. Because then, like, I could go and take my Robux card, right? Put the number into my system, save it, and it would say, okay, here's um, the code to hide. Or here's, here's the code to verify. And then when I post that code to... Uh, to a channel or to a game or to a giveaway, whatever the case may be, they can come in and type in that code and it will say, boom, you're the first one. Sorry, this person's already won. It, like, and it'll keep a, keep a system. And then you, as the YouTuber or the content creator, would have a list of like giveaways that you've done and who won them and like how many people won that particular one. It's kind of like Gleam.io. Gleam.io is a great system. Um, I don't know how we would do verifications if somebody's sub to you or not, but... Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm doing the base cleaning again. I know that um, a lot of you guys were a little upset when I said, I'm not here for just Lumber Tycoon 2, which I'm not. I'm here to play video games and have fun and do my channel. And if Roblox ever goes down, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep doing something. Uh, who knows? I might become a cooking channel, even though I don't know how to cook. Or no, I'll, I'll become a vlogger. But my life's really not that exciting. I mean, it's exciting to me because I play in code all day long. But for the average person, I start telling SQL jokes and they just kind of glaze over and it's like, what are you talking about? <clears throat> so, even <laughs> dad, and I know you're watching, um, I know that whenever I talk about the tech stuff to my dad, he just says, you're so smart. And I I know what that means. I know that whenever I try and explain things to people, and it doesn't matter what kind of people it is, it's, I have this affinity for loving the code, 
like understanding how it works and explanations of it. And that's my thing. It's, it's something I'm very passionate about. Some people talk about football, right? You know everything there is to know about football, who the coaches are, the players, whose who's picks they have, um, who you've chosen on your fantasy football. And I kind of glaze over whenever people talk about that stuff. So I, I, I feel for you. I know. I understand. <clears throat> My dad said this is this uh, organization stuff is boring. <laughs> I think it's very neat. Like picking up my toys. <laughs> Was that the theme from Pinky and the Brain from Animaniacs, 1995? Yeah, probably. But that's fine. <laughs> oh, shoot. Um. Time out. If you don't subscribe for anything else, subscribe for that. That's <sighs> feels like I'm drinking a uh, a potion from Minecraft. <laughs> mm. So, where was I? ADHD, Roblox, lumber, all kinds of things I could talk about. Oh, there is this um, this soundbite that's going around on TikTok where this guy is like, the bean juice makes my brain go zoomy zoomy. I put the bean juice in my tummy and my heart goes faster and my, my brain goes faster. That right there is a pure indication that you, sir, don't have ADHD. Because if you have ADHD, caffeine, will calm you down. It's a, uh, <clears throat> it's weird because it's not like it actually calms us down because if you have ADHD, imagine your brain going at like level 10, right? And a normal brain would be level one. When the level one brain drinks the coffee coffee, it goes up to level five. When a level 10 brain drinks the coffee coffee, it comes down to a level five. So it kind of meets right in the middle and everybody's like happy on coffee and if you don't drink coffee that's fine too it's just something about caffeine calms me down like i enjoy a cup of coffee before going to bed it's like this warm hug for my stomach you know of course there's also when i don't drink my coffee fast enough and it kind of cools down throughout the day um then i will get like a stomach ache and it's, it just feels very acidic because the enzymes have already evaporated, broken down, whatever you want to call it. So, <clears throat> coffee. It makes my brain happy. It makes, it makes the videos better, I think. And teachers. If you ever notice um, a kid in school who happens to have a soda and calms down after they drink the soda. Now, I'm not talking about like Surge or Jolt or anything like that. Actually, I am, um, if you guys know what Surge or Jolt is, because they have higher concentrations of, um, of caffeine. Now, here's the weird thing. With other energy drinks, there are some energy drinks that do not work the same. Like if they've got B6 and B12 vitamins in them, Usually, like an 8,000% increase to your B6 and B12, it'll give you energy and alertness and stuff like that. And it's it's just not the same for me. So, I don't know why. It's, it's a, a bit of a weirdness. But it does happen. Now, I'm not too big of a fan about the way these alpha axes are looking. Those are alphas, right? They look purple. Those alphas? Them, them be alphas? Hold on, is that an alpha X? Yeah, alpha X of testing. What do the betas look like? 
Okay, the betas don't look different. Alpha looks weird, though. <clears throat> I'm going to have to do something about those beta axes. Do I have any more alpha axes on the ground? Looking for alphas and fire axes. Here's a fire axe, if I ever knew one. There we go. If you're watching this video right now and you're like under the age of seven, I know that there's a lot of jokes that I will make that don't quite make sense. And that's just because I'm old and I've, I've been around like tons of old cartoons and music references and stuff like that. But and the gameplay is still here and the message is still the same. You are a very unique and awesome individual. There's nobody else in the entire world like you. And if somebody's making fun of you just because of the way you are, it's not your fault. It's not your problem. Okay? Ignore them. Or if it's really bad enough, tell a teacher, tell a tell a parent, tell a grown-up, tell someone. But don't let it get to you. Okay? At all. Ever. Don't ever let them get to you. The comment section is usually just full of trolls and haters and mean people, but it's also something that we've come to expect from the internet. And I feel very sorry for our generations of kids who are growing up in this time. Like, <clears throat> my son, my son communicates in memes. I mean, I think most 12 year old boys do. <laughs> <laughs> Just because it's the dude from Fortnite. <laughs> oh man, you mean Dwayne the Rock Johnson? <laughs> that no, that's that's the Rock. That's that's the football player. That's that's the wrestling WrestleMania guy. It might not be WrestleMania. It could be something else. But just wow, our kids—they're funny. You know, they're just they're funny guys. And funny, funny girls, funny lads, funny man. Ooh, wait. I was gonna stack this on like one by one, but what if? Can I? Yeah. <laughs> no way. Oh, what if I were to crisscross those? <sighs> Here, can we just pick these up? Is, is this my only fire? Okay, I do have fire boxes. I was like, what happened to my boxes? Here, let's put fire boxes under here. I, I want to keep the boxes all in one place. Now, somebody was ask, asking the other day, Code, can I buy some stuff off you? No, you can't. Um, all this stuff was given to me by fans. And one of my rules was like, I don't sell off fan gifts. So, I can't remember if I bought some of these or if fans have given them to me but yeah it's all all gifts we had this all organized at one time in fact grammy and miss joe and i think universe oh man programming universe he who must not be named i'm just kidding sebastian if you're out there i still love you bro just lots of uh people came in and helped me clean up the whole base one time and then somebody rammed my Axe shop with a piece of TNT in the back of the truck. Blew it up. Is that a fire axe? That is a fire axe. That's crazy. So, <clears throat> also, you can make very cool effects for like fireplaces and stuff if you have um, a bunch of fire axes. Okay, so we're gonna pick them up like this, face them towards the wall, and slide them down. Dude, that is so cool. We're not going to be able to fit quite as many long ways, but if we get more for some reason, I don't, I don't expect I'll be getting more, but they'll be able to uh, crisscross on the top like this. Hopefully it does not glitch and go flying all over the place. Oh man, that's cool. And the reason this works is because the bounding box for the axe itself is a rectangle. The module, it's a rectangle. And I also promised myself that I wasn't going to talk anything about the Roblox copyright strike stuff, but a lot of you had questions like, Code, 
Um, I didn't see Kevin McLeod on or Kevin McLeod attribution on your last video, and you won't see one on this one either because Kevin McLeod is in my um, about section of my entire channel. So I give him attribution like all the time. And then uh, somebody else was asking, Code, what if the the sound we upload to our game is created by us? Will you get a strike on your channel? The answer to that question is no, because you would have to have a YouTube channel upload the sound to the YouTube channel and they would have to create a logarithm for you and then you would have to claim it through there. YouTube, the, the copy strikes and copy takedowns that are happening on Roblox are separate from the copy takedowns that happen on YouTube. YouTube has their own set of rules. Um, I think Roblox is trying to mimic that, but... <clears throat> uh, and somebody was asking, hey Code, what happened to the sound in, in Roblox? Well, the sound in Lumber was claimed and I believe it was falsely claimed because Defaultio has stated he is disputing it, but it is, it's not back yet. And I can prove that because I can pause, I can pause my sound. You guys thought the sound was back, didn't you? Oh gosh. No, I'm actually, I'm still playing it in the background for, for the game itself. It's the only way I can play. I've tried playing it silently and I get anxiety. <laughs> Like, I get anxious about it. It's kind of weird. Oh gosh, okay, come on, come on, get out of there. Come here, beta box. Beta box can go right up here. There you go. Nice, neat little homes for everyone. Oh gosh, no, no, get back in there. <gasps> Don't you dare. Well, um, is that a lump of coal? Hello, lump of coal. Hello, lump of coal. Hello, lump of coal. Lump of coal. Where'd he go? Ah, there he is. So, the lump of coal wrapped, the lump of coal unwrapped, and the lump of coal opened. All courtesy of hands. Well, I, I may have bought some of them. Oh, and to um, correct some of my statement that was yesterday, Roblox, or uh, Lumber Tycoon 2 was created in, hold on, in 2009. Okay, it's 2022, so let's do a quick calculation. I could probably do it in my head, but I'm, I'm a little tired. Well, that's 2009, 13 years, so. A lot of you were correcting me like, Code, it's only seven years old. It, no, 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 no. It was created in 2009. It wasn't active or anything until about 2013. And that's when it actually like started picking up and releasing and stuff like that. But the, its creation date is what I was going off of. And it is, it's 13 years old. So, well, it's going to be 13 this year in July, July 30th. So, I don't know, maybe we'll have a big celebration because now Lumber Tycoon 2 is going to be old enough to chat. Get it? Because the account 13 plus, never mind. <clears throat> bad joke, bad, bad joke. <clears throat> Didn't Roblox just celebrate its 13th or something like that a couple years ago? I remember getting a cake. Some kind of cake. Hmm, where, oh, where shall I put the next axe? Let's go, let's go rookies. Do we have rookie axes somewhere? Silver axes, end times axes, super secret squirrel axes. A lot of people still ask me to this day, like, what is this? What's, what's the candy cane? Axe, and even it's even listed on the uh, the wiki that Code Primate supposedly knows something about. I do know something about it, but the thing is, I promised Defaultio I would never say anything about it. 
so I can't say anything about it. Well, there's no code in some... Mm, I'm, mm, I cannot say anything about it. I promised Josh. <sighs> now, if you want to ask Josh, you can absolutely ask Defaultio. Oh, I thought that was a, a snowball. I'm like, that is like the most perfect snowball I've seen so far. It's not. It's an ostrich eye. <laughs> Here's looking at you, kid. <clears throat> is that Humphrey Bogart? I don't know. It's an old movie. I don't even know that movie. Don't know what you're talking about. I'm not that old. There we go. Okay. So let's stack the rookies. The stack the rookies right along like this. Excuse me. <clears throat> I want to encourage you, if you're wanting to become a YouTuber or a streamer or something like that, learn about computers. Oh gosh, how's, how's this gonna work? Um, do I need to build something? Oh, 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 I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, I got an idea. So let's go to, um, hold on. Yeah, I want to build. We're gonna go to floors. I'm just gonna do a small tile. We can do small tiles, right? Small tile. Yeah, that'll work. Turn. Oh, but no, 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 stop, stop, wrong button. My gosh. Hit one wrong button and it just takes off, don't it? <clears throat> There's one. Oh, no, come on. Come on, get on the edge. Get on the edge, please. Okay. There's two. And B, E, destroy. B, E, destroy. Okay, that should be good. And sure, why not? Nope, get in there. I don't even know if that was the same kind of wood. Do we have any more of that wood over here? Anywhere? Gosh, this base is such a mess. What I really like is that my viewers that do have actual OCD, you freak out whenever you see the base. You're like, oh, I'm cleaning it. And that, I think that's what makes these videos so fun for you, is watching me clean the bases. Which I don't quite understand, but... At the same time, I don't think I need to understand. I wonder how this does on ice wood. Two, three. That's horrible. Oh, end times X is better. All right, let's chop it over here. I think this is ice wood, but I also think you won't be able to tell if I just put it inside with all the blue glowy lights. <laughs> Oh, they can tell code. <laughs> it's completely different texture. Oh, well. It's fine. It's fine. We're doing great. I'm the best builder there ever was. Uh. <laughs> oh, somebody was asking me about the Bark server. And I want to tell you guys, yes, I am in the Bark server. No, I do not exploit. But... I also don't, I don't think people inside the Bark server, hmm, how do I phrase this? If somebody already knows a bunch of programming, right? Why would I go teach them programming? Why would I try and be a leading example to them programming? They, they've already got a set path. But those who look up to me, all right? Those who see me for who I am. I've been an exploiter in the past, okay? And I've been down the path, done the things that they do. I don't exploit Roblox. I mean, my exploits ended 2006. 2007 that was the last time because that's when Keith Haskins and Code Primate merged into one and, and I finally like 
let my identity Heath Haskins and Code Primate become one because by that time we had Xbox Live and people were coming up with their own gamer tags all the time and there was no real point to it like hacking information became kind of pointless because Google was pretty much doing it for us like we had all kinds of information at our fingertips nobody needed to go and hack a business just look it up and I mean businesses were wide open so I thought you know there's no there's no future in me moving forward as a hacker but I have a very distinct skill set that can be used in the IT world so why am I inside the Bark server? To be an example. To be there if there's people inside who are exploiters and they have questions. Like, I'd still want to be there for you guys. If you if you were an exploiter and you openly admit it, comment down below. Yeah, I exploit. <clears throat> and no, that's not a trick. That's not something for you guys who don't exploit to go and be like, you're ruining the game. Well, you're entitled to your opinion, but at the same time, I don't think the uh, the economy of lumber would be the way it is. We would not have access. These, all, all of these, this stuff in here, you can't tell me for a second that some of these weren't exploited in or cheated in somehow. And that's no offense to my fans. Okay, my fans, you could absolutely get all this stuff on your own I could absolutely have 9.2 million on my own but that is a that is a grind my friends all right so I don't want you to have this sugar-coated idea that I'm mr. goody goody two-shoes I'm human just like everyone else just like you and I make mistakes but one mistake I know that I've not made is by being inside the Bark server. And for those of you that don't know what Bark is, Bark is one of the exploiting tools. So, shout out Applebee. What's up, bro? <laughs> Interesting story, and I don't know if I've ever said this. One of my videos, somebody loaded up the, uh, the Bark exploit whenever I was in the server, and uh, Applebee was the one who had uh, programmed it that if anybody loads the exploit while I'm in game it'll troll them <laughs> which I think is an amazing amazing thing to do it was a it was a good little Easter egg I love programming like that just in innovative that's innovative programming and now again it was for an exploiting tool blah 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 morals and rights and wrongs I'm, t I'm not getting there I'm just saying that was funny and I liked it it was a good times good times oh, I should go and watch that video tonight it's funny <sighs> but like I said um, it's it's one thing that I enjoy doing. I enjoy being here and I enjoy hanging out with you guys, whether it's in Lumber or it's on Mario Brothers or it's Skyward Sword or it's the Switch or it's Xbox or it's, uh, what is the other one that I've done? Um, a Boy in His Blob for the Nintendo Wii. I have videos about that way back. Like, have you guys explored the channel? There's a lot of different playlists that I've got. Just one of the many offerings that I have. <clears throat> and if you do memberships, okay, I know a lot of people, they will give bonuses and extras to the fans that do the membership thing. And if you want to become a member, that's absolutely fine. I don't want to, I don't want to present it as something that you have to buy to get extra content ever. That's, that's never the case of my channel. I'm not here to try and squeeze money out of my fans. I don't want to do that. And that, that sounds bad. Because being a member does support the channel and it does give a monthly contribution that I don't have to worry about. But, I don't know. 
it just feels it feels corporatized it feels it feels wrong to me to make you pay for my my videos which i mean i absolutely could i, I could set up an entire was it v, v, vimeo vimeo <sighs> I set up an entire Patreon. Oh, Patreon. You know, if I do provide, like, a service, which I plan on doing, then absolutely. I, I would do the the Robux thing and convert it to DevX and whatnot, but... That's... Again, neither here nor there. Just hanging out at the moment. What was I doing? Oh, rookie axes. Rookie. Rookie, rookie, rookie. We got chicken axes. We got any rookies? Rookie, rookie. Okay. Looks like the rookies are done. Oh. As soon as I open my mouth. A couple of rookies hanging out. And I think the full name of it's like a Ruka carry or something. It's rookie. Shark axe. You guys remember when we used to call it Shark Axe? Uh, and if you happen to be playing solo in your own private server, the, the Rookie Axe is the highest axe that you can still get to this day on your own. And any axe better than that has to be done through special events, which we haven't had in a little bit. Hmm. How far along are we? Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> My apologies. If you watch this 30 minute episode in the morning before you go to school and stuff like that, hey, it is time to go to school. If you watch it during your lunch breaks or whatnot, hey, your lunch break's over. It's been 30 minutes. So I will get this uploaded, get it set on a timer. And again, I will be hiding more codes, more Robux gift cards. Okay, it might not be a Robux gift card. It might be a, a friend request. It might be um, a Mercedes Benz or a, a who knows a Fortnite card or Barnes and Noble for free book giveaways. The thing is, you have to have notifications on, and you have to be subscribed. That's the only way you're going to be able to get the notifications. And I'll give fair warning. Okay, when I do hide something, I'll give you like a week to find it. And if you are the first person who started watching this video and you went to try and put in the code, that means somebody did find it before today. So, I mean, I don't have any way of proving it because I don't have any way of finding out who actually got it. If you won the card, if you got the $10, comment down below, I won! That's the only way I'm going to know. And for all the troll commenters who are going to put that out there anyway, be like, I won! And... Oh, that's not even going to work. I have no way of proving it. Not, not unless you took like a screenshot or something. And even then, it's got to be a screenshot of the code that you put in. I don't know. You could Photoshop that. There's no way to prove it. And I can't check. So hopefully somebody got it. Thank you, everyone. Oh, wrong one. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with the Robux card giveaway. $10. It was either $10. Yeah. No, it was 10 Because I spent 20 and I got 2 so, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things. I'm so scared a lot at the end of the videos, like a good YouTuber does. And happy Friday. I hope I got your mind off the day and got you through just a little bit further to the weekend. Love you guys. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Outro.